Hello everybody, welcome to Tawau on the beautiful island of Borneo. Today I'm gonna take a flight with Malindo Air on their Boeing 78, I'm sorry, on the Boeing 737 to Kota Kinabalu. Tawau is not an area where the majority of tourists travel to, that's why only Air Asia, Malindo Air and Malaysian Airlines are the few major carriers serving this airport. Tawau Airport is quite small and had only two check-in desks for Malindo Air. There was no designated business class check-in line, which was fine considering I paid only about 100 US dollar for my one-way business class ticket. I'm flying in business class today, however I paid a promo fare, which means it does not include lounge access. However, Kawao Airport seems not to have a lounge anyway. Also at this airport, Molindo Air but did not have a business class check-in. So I think the promo fare I paid really is just for the flight. There's no lounge, no priority lanes, no business class check-in. But let's hope it's going to be a business class experience on the flight itself. Here comes my ride. This three years old Boeing 737-800 operated by... Hold on a second. This is not Malindo Air. It says Batik Malaysia on the fuselage. What's going on here? Let me explain. If I understood my research outcome correctly, then we have the Motherhouse Lion Air Group. With Lion Air itself operating some aircraft as a true low-cost carrier. And there's also Malindo Air linked to the Lion Air Group, operating a low-cost carrier and full-service provider hybrid concept. And finally Batik Air, which is considered the full-service provider branch of the Lion Air Group. If I made a mistake, please let me know in the comments below. So it seems that for operational reasons, Lion Air or Malindo Air is using a Batik Malaysia aircraft for the service to Kota Kinabalu, which is totally fine for me. I will come up with a Malindo Air flight review another time. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, otherwise you might miss that. It's finally boarding time and as you can see the jet bridge has seen some better days before. Batik Air's business class comes in a generous 2-2 seat configuration while the economy class is in a standard 3-3 configuration which is normal for a Boeing 737. As a welcome I was served a drink. A little perk which I always much appreciate when flying in a premium class. I'm not sure why, it just gives me a feeling of being a valued guest. And check out these wide seats, so cool. The interior looks quite modern with this ambient lighting and it matches the young age of this aircraft. But the seat setting handles, yeah, they look a bit retro, but hey why not, as long as they work. A quick safety car check and here you go, it says Malindo Air. So I guess Malindo uses this Batik Air aircraft not only for just this flight. It's time to go. Let's sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. The legroom is wonderful and there's also a seat pocket in front of me. And in case I want to have a nap on this short flight across the Borneo island, I could as the seat leans back pretty generously. 
it's not a live flat bed like in many long haul business classes, but more than sufficient for this trip. And also check out this branded pillow. And in this armrest I can find the TV, can I? Hmm. Somehow I can't manage to open the armrest cover, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Lunchtime. As you can see, I was super hungry. Hops on weg. And that's how you store away your table. No engineering degree is needed for that. I was the only passenger in business class today. There was just another guy sitting on seat 1A, which I believe is an engineer from the airline. How cool is that? A whole section for myself. If I would do this in a busy economy class, I would spend a week just blurring faces. On our approach into Kota Kinabalu, we were circumventing some pretty large clouds, which looked quite impressive. This was it, my short but super comfortable trip from Tawau to Kota Kinabalu with Batik Air. The crew did an outstanding job as they were very friendly and attentive. Of course, being the only business class passenger on board helped. I would fly Batik Air again without hesitation. Maybe I will.